I am now recording, guys, okay? So I'm going to go and show you how to download the Unity Hub. So if you haven't done this already, go to Google Classroom, where it says this link to this Unity Hub. We click on that. I save this file or, or, or open it. And once it downloads, I'm going to go into my Downloads folder. And there's the Unity Hub setup file. Double click. And make sure you guys install this. Oh yeah, because I've got this this running, it won't let me. So pretty much, you you run this installation for the Unity Hub setup, and then once you have Unity Hub, you'll be able to find it when you install it. You'll be able to find it in your Start menu down here by clicking in the search bar and start typing in Unity, and you should see this Unity Hub. If you if you can't figure that out, you know, let me know. I'll help you. But this it's pretty straightforward to install an application. Uh, you click on Unity Hub. And then right here, you want to make sure to log into your Unity account. And if you don't have one, you, you're going to like watch. If I'm signed out, I click up here. This is what you'll see. So you, you need to click on sign in. And then it will open up Unity. This is where you sign in with your school Google account. Okay, so sign in with Google. And then log in with your Google, your Google account. Also, for you guys, when you first do this for the very first time, you won't have a license that you've activated with Unity yet. And the license that you want to activate with Unity is the free personal one. So you'll look for the word personal. And again, I already have a license, but if, if I didn't, I would click on here and click on manage license. And right here, I would say activate new license. So you would click on activate new license and right here, do Unity personal. And then say, I don't use Unity as a professional. Yeah, they, Unity only starts charging you when you make $100,000 a year or more with a game that you've made with their, their, their app. So obviously people are making a lot of money with, with Unity 3D. Um, click done. <clears throat> and it'll say license activated. And then pretty much you should be then good to go back. So back. And then when I would click on installs. And right here, this is important. You guys need to click on. So again, installs. Add. And right here, you want to do the very top one, whatever the most recent one is, leave that, click next. And here's really important, guys, make sure that you have Visual Studio Community turned on. That That's the most important thing. That's the app we use to actually write our code. Okay, so we check that one. And then we also check WebGL build support. I would also do Universal Windows and maybe Windows as well. <clears throat> but those aren't super important. And make sure the documentation is turned on. <clears throat> you would then click next. And then agree with this, hit done. And once you guys do all that, it should start installing. And you'll notice it takes a long time. And you guys will see on this install page, there'll be like a little blue line at the top showing you the progress of, of the download and the install. It will take a while. So make sure, guys, that if you haven't done this already, do it right away and make sure that um, you have plenty of time with your computer open and not in sleep mode so that it can finish. If you somehow close your computer on accident or you're not sure if it's working, you need to reopen the Unity Hub. And worst case, if some of you guys are having like errors with the version you installed like this, you can click the little three dots right here and click on uninstall and actually try and just do, do the whole thing again. But this takes a while to download. You also make sure that you leave it open, leave your computer open with it running for a long time. And you can still do other stuff in the background so like right now I could go, you know, and have another class right now and do whatever. But as long as I keep that running in the background, it should be good. Okay. Um, now I'm done with Screencastify. So I want to end uh, the recording. So right now I can, where it says at the bottom sharing, I can click on stop sharing. 